Hello, my name is Mike. I've got my camper hooked up to my truck and I'm getting ready to head out west to explore the Rocky Mountains. So, I'm gonna grab a quick cup of coffee, go pick up my brother Russ, and we are nowhere bound. Our goal today is to drive nearly 600 miles to west of St. Louis, Missouri. We are attempting this entire trip without using one campground, only using harvest hosts for overnight stays and then boondock camping once we reach our final destination. The first night of our trip was awesome and we could not have asked for a better experience. First night of our trip is in the books. The harvest host in general is just a real win. Time to feed this thirsty truck and let's hit the road. This is nice, we got a downhill runway. Good. This awesome trip from Ohio to the Colorado Rockies was supposed to include three adults and one child. However, due to unforeseen circumstances, it ended up being just my brother and myself. Looking back, it was a little bit extravagant taking this big camper all the way across the country with just two people. However, I had the money saved, the time off of work, and I needed an adventure. I was really looking forward to trying out the camper in an extended boondocking situation in the Rocky Mountains. So when I decided where to go, I literally opened Google Earth, scrolled around until I found a cool place with plenty of BLM camping. This is why I love Harvest Host so much. So we're headed out on day three of our journey and today's destination is the Rocky Mountains. After nearly two and a half days of driving, we finally entered the foothills of the Rockies. Tired and burnt out from the long drive, we finally arrived at Twin Lakes, and it was not glamorous. Okay, so here's our current situation. We uh, arrived just as it was getting dark. So, I ran into a camp host at one of the campgrounds that just closed. He recommended coming up here to these dispersed camping sites, but it's really sketchy driving on these roads with the camper and we had to do some maneuvering to get into this spot, but we did it. Russ and I are gonna scout around, try to find a better campsite. I'm actually gonna take a quick little walk down here and see what I see. Look at this. If we would have drove another 
50 feet, we could have ended up here. Oh well, we were tired. I was panicking. And we just needed to find a place to crash. This is a little exposed out here, but definitely a possibility. Surrounded by views, it's amazing. So we dropped the trailer and took the truck out in search of a perfect camping spot. Once we found our new home for the next week, we went back and got the trailer and we claimed our spot. Barely any breeze right now. It is so perfect. Temperature is perfect. We got our camp situated and relaxed for a couple of hours. Then it was time for some burgers. After a nice meal, it's time for a hike. Little did we know, we were camping right next to the CDT. It's official. I have set foot on the CDT. It is morning number four in the Colorado Rockies, camped at 10,000 feet. And we're starting the day off today with some zucchini and squash omelets. After a nice breakfast, it's time to head outside and enjoy some cool fall mountain air and a breathtaking sunrise over the Twin Lakes. Most of the day was spent exploring the vast network of forest roads and 4x4 trails. Literally everywhere you look, there's one sweeping view after another. Yes! Yes! Overnight, it had snowed, adding yet another dimension to this insanely beautiful landscape that we were immersed in. All of the 14,000 foot peaks around us had white caps. This is the view from our front yard. And this is the reason why I came here. We definitely have more exploring to do. And on this expedition, we will find one of the coolest spots I have ever seen. There's a lot of wind where we're at, but we just drove up this random dirt road up to this spot. And this is truly, truly amazing up here.
We had a sweeping 360 degree view of the entire landscape around us from this hilltop. If I hadn't turned up this random dirt road, I never would have even seen this place or known that it even existed. This was a real find. We decided we should get back to camp because there was some serious weather rolling in over the mountains. Nasty. A nasty uh, mountain storm blew in. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. All of that precipitation we were driving towards ended up parking right over our campsite. Uh, the temperature is now below freezing. This is uh, sleet falling out of the sky. I've got the generator on. It's too nasty to do anything outside right now, so that can only mean one thing. There's nothing else to do except enjoy a movie in front of the fake fire and enjoy a nice hearty Italian meal. We're hitched up, ready to go. Leaving our camp in the Rockies. I think we're gonna be back. I love this place. Our adventure in the Rocky Mountains has come to an end for now. However, the adventure is far from over. We still need to get to Ohio. And to do that, we need to cross some snowy, wintry mountain passes and Kansas. It's been an amazing trip, and I've learned a few very important things. Not the least of which is that I do not like this camper. It's cumbersome, inefficient, and a fun sponge, and it's really not my style. So now, I have this. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next adventure.